Hello again, Kans here. Today I wanted to talk about the best method for decoration farming in all of Iceborne. We've done a few videos over the past few days comparing the various decoration quests that you have available to you, talking about what they are, what their upsides are, stuff like that. And today we're going to be optimizing purely for sealed face stones and we're going to be talking about the not only the best drop rates but also the quickest quest. So in that video where we were discussing drop rates and comparing them between the quests, we basically concluded that the Tempered Elders in the Seliana Cache area were the best decoration farming quest purely in terms of drop rates, obviously not accounting for uh, how long it takes you to beetle each quest. However, now I can show you a method that makes beating the Tempered Kushala quest so quick that it basically puts this method leagues ahead of all the others in the game. You can see it happening on screen now. I'm using Spread HPG to stun like Kushala. Don't worry if you don't have all the good decorations or all the good sets or if you don't have the Fatalis HPG. You can literally do this with like the Zenoga HPG using a, a Kirin set bonus set that does, isn't optimal at all. Like I've done a video on this, I'll link it in the end card where I show, show you exactly how to figure out the stun lock for your own set. This is faster than T3 Tempered Investigations, even for like the same monster like Kushala for example, because in the Seliana Cache you have less loading time and also it's easier to find the Kushala, less time to get there. Even if you don't have the attack plus decorations or anything like that, even if you don't like using the scope, that's basically what I'm showing you now. I actually have scope on this weapon, but I'm not using it. I could get 5% more damage straight away just by adding another close range to this weapon instead of scope. So you can easily replicate this with pretty much any set, the doubling over of the stagger threshold, which is what I need to talk about now. In the previous video that we did on this, we had uh, something like four shots and then the fifth shot as he got up knocked him back down, or maybe five and six. Um, and that's because it takes five shots to reach the stagger threshold. And so we would shoot four of them while he's on the ground, wait for him to get up, and then shoot another one. However, you can actually double over the stagger thresholds. So in such a case, instead of doing four shots and then a fifth one, you could do nine shots and then, and then a tenth one to knock him back down. And that's basically what we're doing here. Um, and you can see it makes the quest really quick. Even without heroics, even without special scope, even with a suboptimal uh, DPS weapon, we did this quest in something like two and a half minutes. And actually, I messed up the stun lock a couple of times. You could do this easily under that um, if, if you wanted to. And so you can really push this to the limit, as I'm showing now, using uh, special scope and heroics. Don't worry if you don't have all the good decorations. So long as you can get your affinity basically up to max, uh, you'll be completely fine. Because we're so comfortably over it with our 12th shot that actually you could you could sacrifice a whole bunch of DPS on this set and still be able to make the uh, the tripled up stagger threshold, which is what we're doing, by the way, three times the stagger threshold with heroics. But yeah, you can see I'm procking heroics, I'm getting my uh, my stuff, my buffs all applied, I'm getting my special sculpt on, and then I'm just going to stun lock him. And I found that with this set, using the exact same methods I said in that video that I'm going to link, uh, I, work, I worked out exactly how many shots it takes, and in this case, it took me 11 shots, and then the 12th one knocks him down. That does require your aim to be pretty solid, um, and so that is kind of a, a consideration for this. The faster you want the quest to be, the more difficult it becomes. You know, you need better decorations. You need uh, more skill in terms of aiming. You're forced to use the special scope. You need to get good at proking heroics. So all of those things, like it, it's it's on a scale. So the worse you are at any of these things or the less decorations you have or whatever, you might need to do less damage. You might need to only do double, double over the stagger threshold. So for example, do eight shots and the ninth one or whatever. And obviously use the special scope if, if, you're, if, if you can for the extra 30% DPS. But uh, yeah, it's all about modifying the set. And again, that's what I linked and talked about in the video that I linked before. It's all about modifying the, the method and the set to, to your com what you're comfortable with. But basically, if I can get the stars to align, and actually I can do this fairly consistently in about two minutes. It's, it's not that hard. Uh, several times in a row we were doing this on stream. Um, but yeah, if I can get everything going for me, like a good heroics proc and fairly decent Kushala AI, I can actually do this quest in under two minutes. Um, usually it takes something like two minutes and 10 seconds if I get unfortunate AI and stuff like that. But yeah, you can see how crazy this is. This is an under two minute completion of the Kushala Tempered Seliana Cache area. Far faster than you're going to find pretty much any other quest in the game. And not only that, but it also has the best drop rates out of any quest in the game. If you put all of this stuff together and work out the hourly drop rates like I did, um, you find a number of 105 sealed face stones per hour. Now, depending on your loading times, that might be a little bit lower. You can take off 20% uh, if you need to. Um, and obviously, if you're not using heroics or whatever, you again, take off another like 10 or 20% because the quest will take... Uh, an extra 20 or 30 seconds each, but that's fine. Um, yeah, so 105 sealed face stones is like the, the maximum that I could get. And then 60 carbs and 60 ancients per hour, which is absolutely crazy for an hour of work. And if you meld the carbs and the ancients into seals, you probably wouldn't do this, but uh, you'd only meld the bad decorations. But let's just say we melded every decoration that we that we got from carbs and ancients into sealed face stones. That's another 15. So that's a total of 120 sealed face stones per hour, which is absolutely crazy. That averages out to be something like two sealed face stones every minute. Even if you don't use heroics, even if you don't use the uh, scope, 
even if you have a, a base PS4 with a no good hard drive that takes ages to load, at worst, it's going to be half of this, let's say 50%, which is a stretch. It's really going to be more than that. But even if it's half, that's 60 face sealed face stones per hour. That's one every minute, which is like an absolutely crazy drop rate. And it'll mean that you'll get the, uh, the decorations that you need uh, within no time, hopefully. And yeah, that's basically all I have to say today. So just a summary of like drop rates, what, how far you can push this quest if you optimize it properly and what sort of uh, sealed face stone rates that can give you. This is definitely the best method of farming decorations in the entire game. It might simultaneously be the least interesting. Um, so do feel free to like just, just mix, because I, I mean, you've seen, I've showed you the decoration drop rates on each of the three quests that we've talked about so far. Feel free to just mix it up, you know, do a bit of TO. Do, do some T3 investigations, do some jangs, whatever. You've seen the drop rates, you know what you're farming for, you can see what's worth your time and what isn't, and you can make the, uh, the necessary comparisons for yourself. Um, but uh, yeah, so hopefully this was helpful, and uh, hopefully you uh, have good luck with the, with the RNG farm. Uh, take it easy. Bye-bye.